It's your girl, Queen, reminding you guys to connect with us on patreon.com slash tmgfam, where you can get full exclusive access to all content, bonus videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, lives, and so much more. What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and the beautiful Queen. We back with another reaction, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Listen, BTS, it is your hour. It is your time. Now, I'm hyped. I was doing choreography videos last night. You missed you it. You missed it. I was in here dancing, practicing, getting ready. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I ain't watching them faithfully. He would have said something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, he'd have been like, Ma! So yeah. listen, listen, listen. I did watch some though. I wasn't, I wasn't doing you didn't much. Dance. I was doing a little shoulder movement. <laughs> that's, the, that's as much as they got out of me. You know what I mean? But uh, that was last night's video. Tonight, during BTS Hour. Listen, we're going to get to BTS from Nobodies to Legends 2019. All right? This joint just dropped January 7, 2020. All right? Let's go. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the fam. Here we go. Let's go. I'm going to send that dog. Those be the days, though, that, that, you know what I'm saying, bring you close, make you who you are. You remember those days. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, were they wrong. Wow. Wow, I know about that. Wow. But, but oh, were they so wrong? Yeah, so I think you're trying to make me cry. That's what you like. That's what you're doing. No, I'm not trying to make you cry. <laughs> What? BTS New York concert abruptly ends due to alleged death threats against rap moms? Are you serious? On July 16th, BTS was forced to cut their New York City short due to the reported death threats against member Rap Monster. Are you serious? It's not the first time the Los Angeles Police Department is currently investigating a death threat made against K-pop star, superstar, Jimin. Wow. I did not know that. I did not know that. Death threats for what? This is crazy. See, people fear what they don't understand. Like, people really fear what they don't understand. This is crazy. I'm glad they made it through. I'm so glad they made it through. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's red on red. 20 to 1 made some really regrettable marks about BTS. When I first heard something Korean had exploded in America, I got worried. Yikes. I don't know. I think they look very nice. How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are off to low K-pop boys? Listen, the guys were snubs. They've broken all these records. They've had and Yo, people are so small minded. People are so small minded. Like, it's so small minded, man. And that's what I'm just gonna say. You small minded individuals. Hip hop boys. Listen, the guys were snubs. They've broken all these records. They've had an epic year. They should be in all the major categories. I don't like the fact that they've separated them. Facts. But that's what. Well, it just, it's crazy because they constantly outsell American counterparts. Yeah. They outperform them, but they're still not acknowledged in the way they should be. They're really trying to maintain their identity. And there is a barrier there when it comes to yeah, the, the Korean language. Like, obviously, there's going to be some North American audiences that aren't going to have that on location. And it's still an issue with radio. That's the big thing. Like... Our fans, I think they're, like, more enthusiastic than anyone. Can you describe that enthusiasm? They brought a boy band from Korea to Grammys. My next guest can only be described as an international music phenomenon. They have made Time Magazine's most influential list. They're the first Korean act to reach number one on the Billboard charts, and they just became the first group since the Beatles to earn three number one albums in less than a year. Woo! The seven-member boy band has broken the record for the best-selling album here in Korea. Now, this album released this April has sold 3.4 million copies as of May. BTS had the number one best-selling physical album Dominate. in the United States in the first half of this year. Having the first Korean artist to win two trophies at the Billboard Music Awards in Las Vegas on Wednesday. The awards were top social artist and top duo group. BTS has been named the group of the year on Variety's Hitmakers list. BTS performed at the U.S.'s most watched New Year's concert, New Year's Rockin' Eve. Their upcoming U.S. tour is one of the hottest tickets on earth. Even more remarkable, considering most of their songs are not in English. They're headlining two sold-out nights at Wembley Stadium, performing for 60,000 screaming fans. Twenty three times more people. An economic analysis showed that BTS has lost confidence. That's why you can't stop something. Nearly as much economic. You can't stop something that's already set, that's already, like, it's destined to happen. You cannot stop something. Games as the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in early 2018. It is estimated that roughly 100,000 foreigners came to Korea during that time. That number Woo! includes 23,000 foreign fans who came solely to see the concerts and to their companions. 24% of army were male, while a clear majority, 76%, were female. 24% were 10 to 19 year olds, 26% were 20 year olds, 19% were 30 year olds, and oh, hold on, this doesn't seem right. 27% were 40 to 49 years old. <laughs> I'm Cheryl. I'm just over 50. I'm 56. I'm 64. I'm 33. I'm 36 years old. Almost 48 years old. I'm 44 years old. I have two children. BTS, like, telling everyone to love themselves, to, like, you know, be who you are. And, right, right. And, you know, having a, a, a group of, like, musicians and, like, really talented people talking about, like, better yourself, love yourself, and, you know, become something good in life. It's actually good. I love the band. That's amazing right there. Yes. Reaching every age group and demographic. Yes.
when people was doubting them, saying they were plagiarizing, giving them death threats, saying... Keep going. <laughs> it's getting you hot. I get it. You, you're getting hot. Uh, and, you know, become something good in life. It, it's actually good. I love the band for their message. Yeah. They're giving people who are misunderstood the belief that what they're doing is right. And I think that's very important. You should love yourself. For a group that is such larger than life, mm -hmm. that it can be so easy to, like, dehumanize them. Yeah. They really do a good job of keeping themselves, like, really, like, just natural and humble. So I've never seen a, a whole concert. It's astonishing. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. They are amazing performers. And we load up and we had a blast. We did not, we got out of our seats, we got right down the pit and broke a sweat dancing. As a group, BTS has previously teamed up with UNICEF That's and spoken in front of the UN about the importance of self-love for global youth. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I'm finding how to love myself. You know, I, I didn't know anything about love myself, but you guys, you guys taught me through your eyes, through your love, through your tweets, through your letters, through your, everything. You guys taught me and inspired me how to love myself. And loving myself is my whole life goal until my death. And you know, what is loving myself? What is loving yourself? I don't know. Who can define their own method and the way of loving myself? It's our mission to define our way to love ourselves. It's never intended, but it feels like I'm using you guys to love myself. So I want to say one thing. Please, please use me. Please use BTS to love yourself. You guys taught me how to love myself. Not a dry eye in the room. Mm -mm. You guys taught me how to love myself. Have a good day. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Turn it up. That was dope. Yes. Very inspiring, very touching, very telling as well. I learned a lot in that video that I Absolutely. didn't know. Uh, the death threats and different things like that. That was just insane. People can be so cruel and, and just, you know what I'm saying? Just, I don't understand it, man. We live in a cruel world, but the fact that they were able to persevere, push through it, continue on, and, and break down barriers that they, they are legends. They are. So, you know what I mean? Legends and inspirations to a lot of people. So we love them, man. Salute to BTS, man, for everything they've done and will continue to do. Yes. Y'all let us know what y'all thought of the video, man. Till the next reaction, we out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.